Hi, welcome and welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Narcissists will fish for information about you. And there are a few types of information that I wanted to touch on that they'll be looking for on this fishing expedition. And in addition to that, I wanted to touch on a couple of points for you to consider going forward. One piece of information that narcissists are going to be fishing for is what your status is. Where do you fit in in society? Are you wealthy? Are you middle class, upper middle class, lower middle class? Are you broke? Do you have trouble keeping cash? What is your status? And in doing so, that's going to help them to determine what kind of a source of supply that you will be. Another piece of information that narcissists are going to fish for along those same lines is how much money do you have? How much money do you make? They're going to want to get a feel for what your finances are like. So they're going to not necessarily ask you flat out, but maybe come at it in a more covert way. Maybe uh, in future faking, they may offer you an opportunity and maybe tie uh, a payment along with that or an opportunity to make money and try to get a feel that way for how much money you have or how much money you're uh, accustomed to earning so that they can then store that in their, in their bank and <laughs> hopefully get that or take that to their bank. <laughs> Narcissists feel entitled to your money and they'll want to know how much you make or how much earning potential or what your earnings are. Another piece of information that narcissists are going to want to determine are your assets. Do you have property? Do you own land? Do you own houses? Do you own other buildings? Do you own rentals? Do you have other investments that may be of interest to them or may be a source of income for you or add to your value, especially where they're concerned, at least in their minds. Also, it's important to know that narcissists are going to be more interested in what you have versus who you are. And you need to understand at a core level that what you have is not who you are. But to the narcissist, that's going to be important. They're going to be very interested in your possessions, in just anything. Your, anything that gives an indication of what you have, how you're dressed, or what you're doing, if you're traveling, what kind of job you have, where you live, what kind of neighborhood. Do you live in a house? Are you renting an apartment? What kind of car you drive? This is going to help to give them an indication as to what you have to potentially offer them. So they're going to be interested as they're interacting with you, as they're talking to you in what you have. So something to be aware of. Another thing to note is that narcissists are not going to be interested, at least sincerely interested in celebrating or sharing in who you are or what you've accomplished. In fact, that's going to fuel their feelings of inadequacy. They're going to be very jealous. They're going to be envious, actually, where they you know, feel like, well, they should be in that position, not you. And also a sense of entitlement, that they're entitled to uh, share in your success or whatever goes along with that, if it's earnings or anything like that. So they're not going to be sincerely interested in celebrating who you are. They're not going to be clapping for you. They might be able to fake it for a little bit, but it's not going to be sustainable. When it really matters, they're not going to want to be around you when you're really winning. One other thing that I wanted to note is that you should really make every effort to share who you are and share your accomplishments and successes with people who are genuinely interested in you as a person on a deeper level, not about what you have or what kind of status you've achieved in life or 
what kind of opportunities you're involved in or what kind of material things you uh, have or are acquiring, but really interested in you as a human being at a core level. Those are the types of individuals that you want to share who you are and share what you're doing, what you have going on, share your successes with. And this is where you hear people talking about how they shrink their circle down and they focus on people who are really like-minded and who are genuinely interested in their success and what they have going on, but more than that, who they are as a person fundamentally. Just some things to keep in mind. Narcissists are always on a fishing expedition to find out information about you. And a lot of it has to do with them being able to assess what you have as opposed to who you are as a person. And you're going to want to do your due diligence as you interact with people, especially new people, and find out who and what you're dealing with and make a decision as to whether or not the person that you're interacting with or the person that you've just met is worthy of your time and attention and is worthy of being invited to share in who you are and or what successes or accomplishments that you are achieving in your life. You're not alone and you're not crazy. Know who you're dealing with, know who you are. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.